Oh, oh my gosh. Rookie of the year, Michael Jordan. All right, what's up guys? So here at a unit, I figured, you know what? I'm gonna start over, start fresh. I've got a unit I've been sitting on for about 19 days now at public storage. Uh, I rented out the unit for a month. Just bought so much that I was like, you know what? I'm gonna rent the biggest one, take my time with it. It's a really junky unit and uh, I paid 150 bucks for it. The only reason why I did was because it was so big and full, but it really does look junky. Um, the lady had her lock cut off like three or four times. So that intrigued me and then I saw a safe box. It was just a box of a safe. That kind of intrigued me a little bit. But mostly because it was so full, I figured with the volume I'd do really well. Well, I've been into half of it. And I'll tell you what I found. I found one in a dresser drawer. I found one, uh, one ounce, or yeah, one ounce silver coin. It was a Morgan dollar uh, from 1922. I found a gold butterfly ring. I sold to Sarcastic Stacker. He paid, I think, 70. I can't remember how much he paid for it. 70 bucks maybe. Um, and then I found a bunch of video games, which I'll show you guys that in a second. And now I'm getting ready to go back in and do some more digging. It does look like a wreck because I haven't really taken anything out. I've taken out some trash. Uh, but for the most part, part I'm kind of tearing through it, trying to find some goodies. And uh, we're going to see if we find anything else. There's a trunk way back in the back I'm trying to get to. But yeah, let's go ahead and let's check it out. All right, guys. So I had these video games. They came out of the locker. Uh, that You guys didn't get to see that. I was in a huge hurry and didn't film but I am showing you the last half of the unit. But this is what I found, how cool is that? Nintendo Zappers, two of them, N64 controllers. Uh, it is a rat's nest, which I will fix that and get them cleaned up later. We've got Super Nintendo, uh, and a Nintendo NES, and an original Atari, plus some other little knickknacks. Not a bad start to that unit. Okay, finally got a hands-free set right here. I'm going to give it a shot. I don't have a lot of battery right now. I wonder how the camera is looking. Because I can't really tell. Let's see. So. Back it up. Oh yeah, it looks good. I actually got this clipped onto a hat. which hopefully isn't too shaky. I'm gonna try to keep from shaking. Oh, I don't run into a box. Okay, so here we're at, there's where we're at, guys. We have a lot of stuff to go through. Honestly, I've been through that side over there. There's a bed and stuff. I haven't been through this corner. There's a green trunk hiding down in the bottom. I saw it, so I'm gonna try to get to that today. I've got all this stuff right here we need to go through. Uh, hoping to find some more goodies looks like they have a lot of toys and video games and whatnot so let's go ahead and get in here there's a speaker looks like just a bunch of trophies and stuff pictures actually need these pictures because the lady requested them back oh here is a uh, ps2 that i found a little dusty but all kinds of video game stuff in here so let's move this out of the way I am making a mess in here, but I have a month to get it cleaned out. Well, now I have about 10 days to get it cleaned out, so. Uh, this is where, this is uh, the last dresser drawer, like this one. Actually, a matter of fact, it was this one right here. Uh, it had the silver coin in the top dresser, so we're going to keep looking here. I'm just going to throw these clothes out because I'm tired of, oh, check it out. Okay, okay. I was wondering, because I got an N64 too where all the games were and here they are i actually sold the n64 sold it for 60 bucks with two controllers uh locally oh my gosh we got mario party this guy big wrestling fan nba live blitz not a big fan of the sports games whatsoever or the racing games this is what i'm talking about Resident Evil 2, Mario Kart 64, that's got to be 
I mean, at least a $20 game. I'd say probably more like $40. So those are good. More wrestling. I think I had that one back in the day. Madden. Ooh. Mortal Kombat 4. Then my favorite, Donkey Kong 64. My favorite act is actually Diddy Kong Racing, and I'll be so hyped if they have it. But that's pretty cool. Super Mario 64. I mean, we're, we're already in at least $100 in games right here, minimum. Oh, we got 007. My second favorite, and then my third favorite is Duke Nukem. Those are the three games I played a lot. And Star Fox. I played a lot of Star Fox. Ready to Rumble Boxing. Okay, cool. So we've got quite a bit. Good stack of games. Mediocre. Very happy with that. Let's see if we got any money, man. That looks like a check. Ooh, we got some drumsticks. What do y'all know? I don't know how to play the drums. All right. This stinks. It smells like a 15-year-old boy's dresser drawer. Really? <laughs> That's what I smelled like when I was 15. Like, like I need to take a shower. Oh, yes! More controllers. Look at that little bundle of emoji stuff. That's cool. Wow. So he had all his friends playing here. This is beautiful. Yes. Check it out, guys. That's awesome because I thought I sold all the controllers. Now, these two are knockoffs, but still cool. Two originals. Sweet. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. What do we got here? Oh, nothing special. A bunch of fake. Fake. That stuff is fake, man. Come on, cash. Cold hard cash. Okay. All right. There's that dresser drawer. Absolutely. Definitely happy with that one. We do have a bunch of... Why is this so heavy? We do have a bunch of uh, big tube TVs. Not too excited about those. Actually, I hate those pain in the butt it's probably the worst thing you can find in a storage unit because people want uh at my scrapyard they want eight dollars they want eight dollars to uh get rid of those for you I got some baseballs nothing in there i don't even know if i've ever sold baseballs by themselves i really doubt it all right we need to get in these dresser drawers because the dresser drawers look like they are producing pretty daggone good we got a little bit of rocks there it looks like some fool's gold why couldn't it be real gold am i falling off here so just the hat i hope this is okay for you guys all right matter of fact this is pretty difficult to do oh man i'm out of shape guys you wouldn't think I would be because I do this. This is doing a storage auction business is pretty much like being a one man moving company. When well, you don't get paid to move the stuff, you just get paid to find it and sell it. But that's what this is this is like. So if you don't like moving stuff, you probably won't like the storage auction business. Everybody likes the uh treasure hunt but can you put in the work can you put in the work that it takes to stick it out just going over there what do we got here dbds oh vhs is that's not fun uh oh tennis shoes see i'm not a big fan of buying units with little kids stuff in it this kind of needs gloves for this part oh, oh what do we got here there's a phone there's a charm is that rose gold heck no that old phone right here I'm gonna regret doing this but I'm gonna clean it up later I just need some room to move around here. Baggy. All right, no silver coins in that one. 
or video games. Those look like they're gonna be. This looks like the little girl's dresser, so we're gonna. Oh, hope that there was nothing in that because if there was, I just broke the hell out of it. What we got here? This looks like toys. Oh, a Thomas the Train set. Sweet. 2002. That's cool. Very sellable. Very, very sellable. Let's put this right here. What do you got? What do you got for me in here? Looks like Adidas shoe box. Come on. I found a little bit of jewelry, but it felt like there was more hiding somewhere else in here. This is immediately looking like office supplies. I hate office supplies. Crayons. I mean, that's going to go donation, donation. If I had a dollar for every colored pencil and crayon I found in a unit, we would retire. We got a bike pump. Looks like a bunch of nonsense in here. Nonsense. I mean, nothing. This is just like somebody's crap. Look, there's a Wii controller. And a wallet. Nada. Goose egg. Goose egg on that one. Shout out to Sarcastic Stacker. Let's see. What do we got? Oh, we got Tupac. Tupac in the house. Thug life. Thug life. That actually sells. And I haven't sold any of them myself, but... A big case of CDs. That looks like what it's all going to be. Feels like nothing's in here. I really... I really just wanted to do this video to get down in that trunk because the trunk looks really promising just for the simple fact of where it is it's all the way in the back corner uh oh oh my gosh rookie of the year Michael Jordan I don't know anything about basketball cards but these look pretty good these are all Michael Jordans look at that card it's got the North Carolina on I think I might have a little bit of dough here, fellas and ladies. Look at that. That one is ringing a bell to me, and so is that. Guys, 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 I might have some money here. Maybe. I don't know my cards, but these are all Michael Jordan. Look at that one. Someone colored that. Crazy. Crazy. That's LeBron. Michael Jordan. Wow, 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 wow. Go, guys, very neat. All right, I don't know the rest of these people, but... I'm not a sports guy. I used to play football in high school. Actually, my entire life, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Look at that. BBN! Big Blue Nation, baby. Check them out. All right, story time. So, Anthony Davis, he put out a poster. They had these posters of him. They were not supposed to put these out. Uh, when he was playing, it was a wingspan poster. Just like Jordan did the wingspan poster, he did a wingspan poster. And they put him in, during a Florida game, they put him in everybody's seat, right? Well, immediately, these the posters were in high demand. People were paying one, two, three, four hundred dollars for these posters. Uh, all over eBay, all over the internet, everywhere. People wanted them. And so they immediately ordered them to be destroyed. But the problem was they were already in the hands of the people. So what did my young, dumb self do? Uh, I think I was 19 or 20 at the time, maybe 21. I, my buddy worked at a printing shop. We started making fake wingspan posters. And I sold probably $10,000 worth in a month had a detective stop me he said look oh man sorry about that guys my phone died so i went ahead and moved that dresser over here so we could get some more room try to get back to this trunk but to finish that story so the detective stopped me and uh he said look i can't arrest you you're not in trouble because what you're doing is technically not illegal since none of them are supposed to be sold but i will tell you that we've had a lot of complaints and that my sergeant asked me to come talk to you and 
we're just asking you not to do that anymore so i didn't ask any questions i didn't get smart i just quit making them and called it good at that and uh that was that um probably won't ever do anything stupid like that again but just to show you uh icy profits has been alive and shooting for profits for many years now um i've always been an entrepreneur uh trying to take the easy way out like most young people do um just just dumb stuff but finally figured out that uh the quick and easy way isn't the right way it'll always get you in trouble but anyway super cool michael jordan cards gonna get these checked out Maybe I can get uh, Bargain Bargain Hunters Thrift Renee to look at these for me. Um, here, I'll just do a zoom in on this stuff. These might not be anything. I'm not sure. I really don't know. All right. Okay. Pretty, pretty cool. Um, we'll set this over here. Amazing find. We'll set that over here really fast. I know, it's an absolute mess, guys. You don't have to tell me. I'm the one who's got to clean it up. But I had plenty of time, so I figured, you know what? We'll make a mess out of this one. I don't do that all the time. Uh, right here, we have a problem. This box is holding this up. And this is where I need to get to. The trunk is actually down there. Let's see if I can look over there. Maybe you can see it, but it's right down in there. In there in the bottom. That's the green trunk we're trying to get to. This says Isaac. I think it's the boy who's got all these games and stuff. So, ooh, look at that. Looks like we got more, more cards possibly. Check it out. Okay, okay. What do we got here? 2013 National Champions. We got a wood glass. Oh, we got a wood glass game set. That right there. Uh oh. Oh. Man, I don't think there's any shoes in here. We're going to look and see. Let's take this over here. Nope, all cards. All basketball cards. Again, I don't know my cards. Those don't look very special to me, but what do I know? I just feel like the same thing. That's a really nice box, though. Oh, wow. Yep, more cards. These are not in the best condition. Very, very cool. Very cool. So, I bet you guys 20 bucks this box is all cards too. It's the heaviest one of them all. These are KDs. Wow. Okay, those look a lot older. Well, they're all 91s. What I do know about cards is most of them were mass produced in 90s, 91. But there actually might be some good cards in here. Cool. Really, really cool. Alright. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to dig out some more boxes. Alright guys, had to get out of there early. The storage facility, their gate was broken, so I had to leave there by 5 o'clock. You could only be there during office hours. So, we are going to do a part two to the video. We're going to get into that trunk. I'm going to show you guys what's in the trunk. You don't want to miss it. Uh, I decided to go get a haircut, and I'm going to do some more eBay listings for the uh, Vintage Trap Shooters unit. Uh, those videos can be found on Sarcastic Stacker's channel. I'll leave another link below. Have a good one.
Thank you.